Now we are going to start with the second agriculture practice that is the sowing. See, when we are going to sow seeds, it's not like that, that you select seeds and you just uh, sow it in any way. We want healthy seeds. We want specific characters to be there in seed because if there will be a specific character, then only we, we are going to get a healthy yield. So the first thing is that, that when you start sowing, just select the seeds properly. Now, what is the criteria of selecting the seeds? We want that our seeds should be of good quality because if they will be of good quality then only you are going to get a high yield and you are going to get a good quality crop also. And if, you, if a farmer will get a good quality crop then only he will get a monetary gain. Second thing is that the seed should be healthy. That means it should be able to grow well. Third, it should be disease free. Obviously, we don't want that our crop should be infected with some of the disease. We want that our crop should be very healthy. So we want that the seed should be disease free. And the seed should be able to germinate well. That means if, uh, if we provide everything to a seed, it uh, means it is going to, uh, it should give a good yield. So these are the characteristics which we are looking for uh, in a seed and that must be fulfilled. Then only we are going to get a good yield. Now, uh, what do we mean by sowing? The process of planting uh, seeds, that means when you are uh, putting seeds in the soil, that is what something called as sowing. So see, uh, in sowing also, you need to focus on certain things. It's not like that, that you can spread seeds anywhere. Because uh, see, if you spread, uh, like the seeds should be sown at the proper depth. Because see, if the seeds will be superficial, then there, may be, uh, there might be a chance that they are carried with birds, wind, water, and, uh, like this. So that, and they should not be uh, very deep also. Because if they will be very deep, then they won't get the oxygen supply. And, and if they will not get the oxygen supply or water, how they will germinate. So that means, this is the main reason that you need to sow a seed at proper depth. Neither superficial, that means neither on top, nor uh, so deep. They should be at proper depth. Second is that they should be sown at proper distance. Because if they will uh, be sown at proper distance, then only they won't intermingle with each other. And uh, it will not lead to any overcrowding. So these are the two factors which a farmer uh, need to uh, concentrate. That the seeds are sown at proper depth and at proper distance. Now, there are various methods which you can employ in sowing the seeds. One is the broadcasting. Second is the seed drill. Third is the transplantation. First is the broadcasting. Broadcasting is not an effective method, but uh, in later stages it was used actually. But it has a major drawback also. So first we'll discuss that what actually is the method. So in broadcasting, what we do is we take seeds in the hand. It is a, just a manual method. We take seeds in a hand and we just sprinkle like this. So if you will sprinkle like this seeds in a field, then uh, there, uh, there is a chance, not a chance actually, but it happens actually, that uh, they get, uh, first of all, they are not sown at the proper depth. And moreover, there is there, uh, what we see is that many seeds are sprinkled, means uh, non-uniform distribution is there. In a clear words, I can explain you that there is non-uniform distribution. Like at some place, you are getting many seeds together and at some places, they are just far away from each other. So we cannot utilize the land in a better way. So uh, the first thing is that, that the disadvantage, no uniform distribution and this is no proper utilization of land also and will lead to proper, uh, sorry, overcrowding also and uh, the seeds won't be sown at proper depth. So all these drawbacks have been covered by the new, new techniques that is by the use of seed drill and the transplantation. These are actually the better methods in comparison to broadcasting because they can cover up the disadvantages. So what is seed drill? Seed drill has a tank. You must have seen that there are tractors which, uh, which are uh, drilling a seed drill along with them. They have attached seed drill like apparatus. What they have, they have a tank in which there are so many seeds to which the seed drill is attached. That means a funnel. Funnel is there with the pipe. So from the seed tank, the seed passes from funnel to a tube to a, this thing. When the, you can say that when that uh, the tank uh, moves, so what does it do? It makes furrow. The drill makes the furrow and from that funnel, from the seed tank, the seed travels from funnel to from a pipe and it is so and from a drill it is sown at the proper uh, depth and at a proper distance in the furrow that is made by the seed drill. 
I think you got it. Again, there it has a tank in which there is a seed drill. It has a funnel from which the seed can pass. It has a tube. This is all seed drill. And when the tractor is moving, it is just carrying the seed drill. So it is making furrows like this. So from that uh, funnel, the seed is just passing and it is sown at the proper depth and the proper distance. So that means we can cover up those drawbacks of broadcasting, which is very important. Third is transplantation. See, in, tra in transplantation, what we are doing is the farmer is just planting the seeds, uh, you can say in a pot and when those uh, seeds germinate to form a small plantlet, then that plantlet is chosen, selected ones. Those plantlets which are healthy or which are having a proper characteristics which a farmer need. So he is just taking out that planted, plant, plantlet and ju then just planting in a male, main field. So again, uh, if, we, if he does transplantation, so he is able to plant plantlets in a proper way and moreover he can actually select the healthy plantlets. So these are actually the new techniques that is the seed drill and the transplantation which, are, which has been commonly employed. I think you got it that this is how the seed uh, selection and the sowing is done. Now once you are, you are done with the sowing, we, what we need to practice the third one that is we need to improve the fertility of the soil. So now we look for the third, uh, third practice agriculture practice that is how we can improve the soil fertility.